absolutely. So tell me more about the economic development here in the short term. You've got the search for the economic director, the economic uh, developer going. Once you get that done, what do you think his first order of business is going to be? Um, well, this is a new project. It's the first time that we've really brought in the private industry to have a say in, in how we deal with economic development. And so it's about getting our vision. We, Like I said, we've done a strategic plan, so we, we have a vision of, of what we want to see in our community, but our board members also have a vision, and we want to make sure that the economic developer um, brings in the type of businesses because we don't have that outline. We don't know what type of businesses that we're targeting or that we're looking for or that maybe we don't want in our community. And so that's probably the, the first step is that we kind of need to see how we fit into the region, how we can maximize our potential in Bee County. But I've always wanted Bee County to be um, a contributing member to the Coastal Bend region. There's so much going on at the port and, and Bee County has a lot a lot that they can bring to the table as well. So we, we want to make sure that, that we are working with the, with the area and, and bringing people into the Coastal Bend region. Definitely. So now Bee County is located, if I were in Corpus Christi, Bee County is located about where? It's half, about halfway between here and Fort Bruce, here in uh, San Antonio. Okay, and now population in B County is about what? Thirty-four thousand. Thirty-four thousand people, and it's mostly blue collar, rural. Uh, uh, the population primarily lives outside the city limits. We have one incorporated city, the city of Beeville. There's fourteen thousand people that live in the city, and twenty thousand people that live uh, in in outside of the city limits in the rural community. So I would say it's it's primarily rural. Um, we have some great school districts where, where people um, are able to get quality education. We have Coastal Bank College, our community college, that provides higher, higher education and provides that gap between high school and a four-year degree. Um, so th the, there's a lot, of, a lot of opportunity in Bee County. So K to 12, actually pre-K to 12, mm -hmm. those districts, and then a two-year college. Absolutely, yep, and that's unique to a lot of rural communities. A lot of rural communities are have, have that uh, are absent with a with a rural community college, and so we're proud to have Coastal Bend College in our backyard and to give our students another opportunity at, at getting their attaining their higher education. And that's also key to the economic development picture because you're creating a ready workforce. Absolutely. And, and Colston College also provides um, workforce training. And so they, they can really um, create a program that's specific to any business. And so if you need certain certifications, uh, Colston College can, can mold, their, mold their coursework to fit your needs as a business. That's great. Mm -hmm. Well, I want to thank you for coming down. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much for telling us about Bee County and what you got going on. We hope to be hearing more. Thank you. Appreciate thank it. Thank you.